two surprises in camp. You haven't been there, but people want to know an unheralded person, someone who is not have herald, who all of a sudden starts playing really well. Then they get the herald. <laughs> who uh, who got the herald the, uh, today? Okay, or these days. <clears throat> The Amador Lenore, he's a good player, but I think he's becoming one of the best players on the team. Like they did one on one uh, drills today, which is just what one cornerback covering one wide receiver. And it's heavily um, skewed in favor of the wide receiver. There's no safety, there's no pass rush. He can run his route as long as he wants. Hard to lose that one if you're a wide receiver. Debo, uh, the Amador Lenore went against Debo twice today, intercepted one pass and knocked away another. Um, He's really, really good. And then he intercepted Brock Purdy in uh, 11 on 11s and broke up another pass that he almost intercepted. He was freaking everywhere. So I didn't expect that. That's pretty surprising. Is he elite? I never would have considered him elite. He went from being like a fifth round pick you didn't think of to a guy who started because he had to and was a bit of a liability to a guy who can play outside and inside and is pretty solid. One of the better n- number two corners in the league to a guy who looks like he's a number one corner now. Wow. He could be elite. He's, I think he's 24 years old. Have you ever heard him talk? He talked today. He's really oh, smart. tell me about it. Tell me um, about it. He was asked about Brandon Staley. What do you think of Brandon? And I, was, I noticed that during practice, Nick Sorensen is away from the players calling plays next to Kyle. Staley's with the players on the sideline. And he has like a long running dialogue with Lenore whenever Lenore's not in the on the field. Like they're like talking through every play. And uh, today he was like, Brandon Staley's a genius. He's like having Kyle Shanahan on, on, for defense. So I, I get the feeling that Lenore feels that learning from Staley can take his game to an, to another. He's he's a he's a good player, but now he's going to be a smart player who's going to be one step ahead of the competition. And today he was. So it was interesting for him to explain how he really likes this new coach. Iggy, Sorensen better watch his tush. Yeah. Because you know what you know what Staley's doing, right? It's like, okay, you let me him? just ingratiate myself player, like one player at a time. So when Sorensen inevitably gets thrown under the bus, all the players will be like, we like Brandon. Yeah. 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 So we already got Lenore on his team. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's one. who's another who's another one that's outstanding. Another one. This is interesting and it really sh- showed today. So we're on Pearsall watch. He is the first round pick. He had a hamstring injury. He played today. They didn't they didn't put him in uh f- well, I'll talk about I'm going to give my first impression of Pearsall in a minute. But he didn't do much today. As opposed to Terrell Owens kid, Tariq Owens who is an undrafted free agent. He went to Bishop out, Bishop out high school. He didn't even start playing football until he was a senior in high school. He had a deep touchdown catch in one-on-ones. He beat Ambry Thomas, who's been on the f- on the team for three years, four years. And then in team drills, 11 on 11s, he did it again. He ran by Rocky Sin, who's been in the league like six or seven years. Another deep touchdown catch up the left side. It's like, wow. Ricky Pierce all didn't do anything like that. So, Good for Terrell Owens, kid. And I've also seen him go over the middle. He has, like, no fear. I'm not saying he's Terrell Owens, but you could tell he's his kid. He went to to Bishop O'Dowd? He went to Bishop O'Dowd. I guess his mom lives around here. See, I don't know anything about Terrell Owens' personal life. After a while, Iggy, I tried to just stay away from Terrell Owens. I I thought... it, it, it. What's going to lead to good things? All I know is that they had Tariq Owens talk after the local pro day, and he was like, nothing like his dad. (laughs) Nothing like his dad. That's all it's like. Well, God love him. Yeah. A a Bishop O'Dowdnick. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I was happy to report that he's a big surprise. He's actually good. I thought they were, like, doing him a favor, bringing him to the local. He was at the local pro day. Like, hey, you went to high school around here. Why don't you come around and take a picture with the coaches? Like, no, he made the team, and he's going to make the practice squad, and he just might make the team one day. I mean, he's done a lot more than Danny Gray, who's been on the team three years, or Ronnie Bell. Well, I'm really glad to hear that. Yeah. that's. I didn't expect you to say him. Yeah. Does... uh, 
does Terrell Davis, D- Terrell Owens come to the uh, practices? Not that I've seen. He was at the local pro day. Uh, Jerry Rice was there today. No idea why. He's wearing uh, a hat you know, that I, said goat on it. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, I believe Jerry likes to still be in the spotlight. Yeah. Yeah. Probably well, what made him great part. You know, I believe Jerry has a big ego and this is not a criticism, by the way, greatest football player who ever lived. Maybe you need to have a big ego to, to do that. And sure. I, th- and I, I don't think you'll lose the ego Iggy. He likes yeah. to be in the spotlight. Two more surprises. I want to keep going. Cause this is a good topic for people who are like, want to get inside training camp. Yeah. Cam Latu. The tight end that we that I ridiculed last year. He was a rookie. He dropped a bunch of passes. He got hurt. He didn't make the team. I wrote him off. He hasn't dropped a pass yet. He caught a pass today. He caught a pass yesterday. He didn't play tight end until like his last year at Alabama. He was a linebacker first. So he's a bit of a project, but he's huge. He looks like an incredible athlete. He looks like if you could get the ball in his hands in a real game, he'd be really tough to tackle. He'd be good after the catch. And he looks like he'd probably be a good blocker too. So it looks like um, the rare project that might actually work out. He's looking promising, and I didn't expect it. He can catch the ball, and he's a hell of an athlete. Great. Can he block? And it's hard to tell in a in these practices, but he looks like Great. he should be able to block, block. He's a big, strong guy. And then the last guy is, maybe this shouldn't be a surprise, but the Niners always have an undrafted running back who's good. And this year, it's Cody Schrader. He's a little guy. He was at Missouri. He was one of the leading rushers in college football last year. The Niners drafted Isaac Garendo, who ran fast at the combine. But he's hurt. And Cody Schrader has been in every practice. And he's really consistently good, very decisive, finds the hole, gets downhill. No nonsense. None of that east-west bullshit, Dad. Not for Cody. Not for Cody. North-south. Good player. So those are the four. Do you think Cody will make uh make the team? He just might. Uh, if he has a good preseason and the Niners try to get cute and wave him and put him on the practice squad, another team could pick him up. So we'll see what they do. I, I it's looking like Garendo might have to spend his rookie year on IR, and if if that's the case, they could give Schrader a spot. 